Hey, yeah, guys, it's Mark here from YouTube. Today's video is going to be on how to connect your PS3 to your home NAS device. Now, I did watch a video on this last night, but the person who made the video had no idea what what no, what um what to do so I thought I'll make um my own video explaining how to do it properly. So um now I think this should work for both the PS3 and for the Xbox, but I know it will work for the PS3, so I'm not too sure about the Xbox, but I'm pretty sure it should work. So. First off, you want to go onto the net and log into your um, NAS home page. So I'll, I'll quickly do that and then I will come back to you. I've now log logged in. Now. The first thing I'm not I'm not sure about any any other web interface, but for the Synology, this is what it will look like. So once you logged in, then you want to come down to um, package center. It, it should be in the um cycle. Uh, once you've done that, once you've done clicked on that, this window should pop up. Now you you want to. Scroll down here until you find the thing called Media Server. Now, this won't appear in here for me because I have already installed it. See, not there. So, once you find it, well, once you find that media server, and then you want to click on install. It's very easy. It's not hard, and it won't take very long. So, once you install it, then you want to close this window. Then you want to go into your control panel. Now, under application settings, you you will then see media indexing. Service. That's what the media server application is. So, so you can click on like this tab will allow you 
to create thumbnails so then the NAS will find thumbnail for the movie or whatever it is and they will be on the um, screen on the TV or whatever it is but we want and then you want to click on this little box here enable video conversion for mobile devices so make sure that um, that one's ticked then come over to here now this one won't be there for you you will only have these three so well, once you're here then you will want to click on create then down here on the file, file type you will see photo, music and video you, you, you want to untick any of the boxes that you don't want so if you don't want music or photos you will do that and then you will go out to select and now this is where I got confused now you want to not if you click on go to main folder and then click OK it may not work properly it will work but not properly so what you want to do is you want to uh, open that folder then click on the folder that all your movies are in because I've I've got some menus and some folders in there so you want to open that main folder then click on that secondary folder then, then you will want to click OK now it it won't work for me because I've already got that same path in. So once you've done that, then you will click OK. But it won't work for me because I've already got that one. So I'll go can I get to show you what happens so you click OK and now see these red little triangles that won't work because you, you, you need to push save first and now that's done So, but so I'm going to delete that one because that won't work. So, if we go, so I gotta make sure that that you select the um folder, then select the um sub folder then it'll work properly. Alright, uh, uh, now, now I will go over to my PS3 and I will show you guys what you have to do on that. So that's all you have to do on your web in the face for your NAS device. So, 
hold on a second and I'll come back. On there in front of my TV and my PS3. So I really hope you, you guys can see the screen, the screen okay. I will now show you how to find your, your NAS on your PS3. So, first go to your settings menu at the top. It's that little briefcase. But depending on what the theme you have, uh, so come over to your settings menu, then scroll all the way down to your network settings. Then you want to go down to the very bottom and make your media server connection is enabled. And that's what you have to do. It's not very hard. So you only got two options in there. So make sure that that's turned on and then you're all set. So if we go over to video and there's my NAS drive. Now when I did this last night it took a little while for the movies to appear. So I don't know what it does, but it does something. So you might have to, depending on, on, on how big your movie collection is, you may have to wait for a little while for your movies to appear. When, when I first did this, that, that icon was not there, the unsynology. It looked like that the grey box but if you wait for maybe like four or five hours it should be there so once that's there you, you want to go, go into it now you want to go into your video folder and here is the movie folder I'm not sure why it does that I'm not sure why it puts in three more but but she works so you want to click on that one then here are all your movies so if you want to watch her um, see it's very confusing so we'll, we'll try that one So if you want to walk um, can then you will find the movie you want to walk. So if you want to walk um, the same 2012, 
you will click on that, then you will click on the movie, and I will play a little bit for you. So, as you can see, that that little bit there, that was the movie. That wasn't the own stream. So as you can see, it works just fine. And you can fast forward. So that the quality wasn't the best because that movie wasn't um, put on the server in full HD. So that's why the quality wasn't good. So so then so that's it. Um, I really hope that helped and thanks for watching and I'll put all my social links and that down below the video and thanks for watching.